I, I was just thinking about what Brother Benham said in the message, the meanest man. Nilikuwa natafakali tu kitu ambacho Dugdana malizungumza katika ujumbe wa mdhambi kuliko watu wote ninayemfahamu. Labda nieleze kwa mfano. Biblia inasema Yesu alitoa makoti yake alikunja mashati yake. Haleluya. Hiyo ni Yohana 13. Andiko linalohusu kuoshana miguu. Sikiza ndugu Dana manachosema. Nasema muda fulani ninapofikiria kwamba sisi ni watu fulani. Lakini Yesu cheo kikubwa cha mbinguni akafanyika mwili kwenda kufanya kazi ya muosha miguu. Kumbuka Biblia inasema na kisha Yesu akatoa maji kwenye beseni. Yesu akumwambia Petro, leta maji kwenye beseni. Alienda mwenyewe kuchota maji. Akayaweka kwenye beseni. Akajifunga taulo kiunoko. Akapiga goti. Akaosha miguu ya wanafunzi. Haleluya. Akasema ninachofanya sasa. Hamkielewi. Lakini mtakielewa baadaye. Lakini likuandiko. Akawaambia kama mimi Bwana wenu nimeosha miguu yenu. So ought you to wash one another's feet. Jinsi gani mnapaswa kuosha miguu yenu mmoja kwa mwingine? Yes, the scripture. Lipoandiko. He said. Ambao linasema This is the one that you need to take home. Hilo ndo ambalo nataka uondoke nalo. Kama mkiyajua haya. Happy are you. Mufraini if you do that. Kama mtayatenda. Jesus said knowledge is good. Anasema kuyajua ni vema. But happiness lies with applied knowledge. Lakini furaha inakuja kama unayaishi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may say the services were good. Unaweza kusema ibada zilikuwa za baraka. But happiness lies. Lakini furaha with applied knowledge. Ni pamoja na kuishi ulichoubiliwa. Knowledge is one thing. Kuyajua ni jambo la kwanza. But to put it into action. Lakini kwenda kuyaishi. It's applied knowledge. Sasa hapo ni kutumia maarifa. That is the important. Na hilo ndo la msingi zaidi. Say brother treat your wife better. Ndugu ninaposema waheshimu wake zenu vizuri. You must say yeah yeah. I must treat my wife better. Anasema ah yeah yeah ndio natakiwa nimtendee vema. But the difference is applied knowledge. Tofauti ni kwenda kumtendea mema. To know is one thing. Kujua ni jambo la kwanza. To put it into action. Kwenda kwenye matendo is altogether another thing. Ni hilo ni jambo lingine kabisa. So I trust that if we leave this building. Kwa hiyo nina naamini kwamba tukiondoka hapa Applied knowledge is the important. Tumieni haya ambayo mmeambiwa. Amen. Moses told the people. Musa aliwaambia watu. We're going to go out of Egypt. Tutatoka Misri mnajua? He says but the Lord wants you. Akasema lakini Bwana anawatakeni. Take the blood. Mchukue damu. Put it on the door. Mupake kwenye mimo na ya milango. I will pass through the land of Egypt this day. Kusema kwa sababu nitapita katika siku ya Misri usiku. And I will slay all the firstborn. Nami nitawaua wazaliwa wote wa kwanza. So it was not the knowledge. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa sio tu kujua ataua. That held the firstborn. Lakini kama unamzaliwa wa kwanza, it was the applied. Ilikuwa ni swala mpaka upake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us take what we've heard. Kwa hiyo tutende kazi yale ambayo tumeyasikia. Let us apply to our lives. Tuyatumie kwenye maisha yetu. Amen. Amen. Still love the Lord. Je, bado mnampenda Bwana? Amen. Amen. Let's give him a way for. Hebu tumpungie mkono wa furaha. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Libarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. I wonder can we stand? Sijui kama tunaweza tukasimama. Did you appreciate Brother Joseph? Jem nam fraia ndugu Joseph. He makes life a lot easier for me. Ananirahisishia maisha. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Can we turn in our Bibles? Je, mnaweza mkafungua Biblia zenu? Second Kings. Wafalme wa pili. Chapter 4. Sura ile ya 4. This is a little message just to encourage you. Ni ujumbe tu mdogo wa kutiana moyo. We all need encouragement. Tunachohitaji ni kutiana moyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Rajo, you can read Amen. from verse 24 to 26. Wafalme wa 2, 24 mpaka 26 nasoma katika jina la Bwana. Akatandika punda, akamwambia mtumishi wake muendeshe Tuendelee mbele usinipunguzie mwendo nisipo kuambia. basi akaenda akafika kwa yule mtu wa Mungu katika mlima wa Kameli ikawa yule mtu wa Mungu alipomuona kwa mbali akamwambia geazi mtumishi wake tazama mshunami yule kule tafadhali piga mbio sasa kwenda kumlaki ukamwambie hujambo mume wako hajambo mtoto wako hajambo Akajibu hawajambo. Hajambo. Hawajambo. They are all well. It is well. Hajambo. It is well. Amen. Amen. Let me read the English. Nisome kwa kingereza. And then she settled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Select not thy riding for me, except thy birthday. She just left a dead boy at home. Hapo alikuwa amemwacha yule mvulana pale nyumbani. The son died. Na yule mvulana alikuwa amekufa. She's on a donkey. Lakini huyu mama yuko kwenye punda. On the way to the prophet. Anamwendea nabii. The prophet was the one who prayed for us when she didn't have a child. Nabii ndiye aliyemuombea wakati hawajapata mtoto. Now the child has died. Sasa yule mtoto aliyeletwa amekufa. She's on the way back to the prophet. Anamrudia nabii yule yule. Said man of God. Anasema mtu wa Mungu. I've got a dead child at home. Mbona nina mtoto aliyekufa nyumbani mwangu? Please pray for me. Tafadhali uniombe. The God who gave her the baby. Mungu aliyenipa yule kijana mara ya kwanza. Can resurrect the Anaweza kumfufua yule mtoto tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off. He was sitting and he put his glasses on properly. Nabi alikuwa narekebisha miwani yake. This looks like this mwana, woman. Mwana kama dada flani yule anakuja. I wonder what is she doing here. Anafata nini tena? He said then it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off that he said to his servant Gehazi his, and, and he said to Gehazi his servant behold yonder is the Shunammite. He says, run now, I pray thee to meet her and say unto her. Hajambo. 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 Is it well? Is it well with thee? Hajambo. Hujambo. Is it well with her husband? Jemmeo hajambo. Is it well with her child? Jemmeo hajambo. Listen to her answer. Ebu sikiliza ule mama alichojibu. It is well. Wote wako salama. That wasn't the truth. Lakini hiyo haikuwa hivyo. Because at home. Kwa sababu kule nyumbani. There was a lifeless body of a boy laying on a bed. Kuna mwili wa kijana ulikuwa kwenye kitanda. At home. Kule nyumbani. There was a grieving father. Kulikuwa na baba anayelia kwa uchungu mtoto wake amekufa. The community was mourning. Tangu asubuhi. But Kajambo. Lakini anaulizwa. Jesus is well. Anasema ni salama. Regardless of what is going on there. Bila kujali nini kinatokea nyumbani. It is well. Ni salama. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a wave. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can we close our eyes for a while? Tuweza je kufumba macho na kuomba. Our dear is an eternal heavenly Father. We are so grateful. Baba yetu wa mbinguni na wa milele tunashukuru sana. To be assembled around your never failing word of promise. Kujua kwamba wewe huwezi kushindwa kwa ahadi zako. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Mbingu na nchi zote zitapita. But your precious word. Lakini neno lako la thamani. Shall never pass. Kama yalitapita. Father we need you. Baba kweli tunakuhitaji. To come and share with us. Uje ushirikiane nasi. To come and break the bread of life. Uje uvunje mkate huu wa uzima. Lord let us just the prophet says any student Bwana nabii anasema kila mwanafunzi can open up the bible anaweza kusoma biblia read something and draw some context akajifunza na kupata somo 
but lakini there's only one life giving source kuna mmoja tu anayetoa uzima kwenye kwa nafsi and that's the holy spirit na huyo ni roho mtakatifu lord will you come bwana tunaomba uje and make the dead letter alive na ufanye hizi herufi zilizokufa zikawe hai weaken the word uziuishe bwana we will never forget kama tusisahau to give you the honor kukupa heshima the praise and the glory na sifa na utukufu for we ask all this in jesus name kwa kwa tunayaomba yote katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen amen you may enjoy the comfort of your seat mnaweza kufurahia viti vyenu vizuri i mustn't say that in tanzania though. Tanzania lazima niseme hivyo. Every time I said enjoy the comfort of your seat. Mara mingi nimegundua nikisema furahieni faraji ya viti vyenu. Then people start sleeping. Watu wanaanza kusinzia eti ndo furaha ya viti. Don't get too comfortable. Jamani usipate faraja ya kuzidi kiasi. You still need to listen to the word. Unapaswa kusikiza neno. Amen. 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 Because tomorrow you will need applied knowledge. Kwa sababu kesho itahitaji ukaishi neno fulani. You need to put in practice. Lazima ukaende kwenye matendo. What you have listened. Kwa kile ambacho umekisikiza leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let me know when you are ready. Nie nie mnifanye nijue mkiwa tayari. And when you are ready. Na mkiwa tayari. Then I'll be ready. Na mimi nitakuwa tayari. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Now let's get a background of this little story. Hebu tupate mwanzo wa hii habari ndogo. This woman, huyu mwanamke couldn't have a child. Hakupata mtoto. So one day the prophet came along. Siku moja akatokea nabii. Rabbanam says she, she was a woman with a very good heart. Nabii anasema alikuwa ni mwanamke mwema sana. She was the woman who built a little house a shack for the prophet to stay in. Ndiye mwanamke aliyeamua kumjengea nabii nyumba ya kukaa. Whenever you do something for God. Unapomfanyia Mungu kitu chochote. God will give it back unto you. Mungu atakurejeshea. One day the prophet was saying. Siku moja nabii alikuwa anasema. He said Gahazi. Sema Gahazi. I see this couple. Naona hii hao hii familia. They've been so kind to me. Mbona ni watu wema sana kwangu? They built me a place. Wamenunulia sehemu. There's a table. Wameweka meza. And a chair. Wameweka kiti. For me to be comfortable. Ili mimi nijisikie vizuri. And also a bed to sleep. On. Hata wamenyekea kitanda cha kulala. He says as a woman, is there something we can do in this? Hivyo hatuwezi kuwafanyia chochote? Amen. Amen. And he says oh asema ah men of god mtu wa mungu this woman doesn't have a child huyu mama hajawahi kuwa na mtoto hallelujah amen the rest is history na yaliyosalia ni historia the child was born mtoto akazaliwa the prophet prayed for nabii alimwambia yule mama the child was born mtoto akazaliwa and one day when he was a, a little teenager na siku moja alipokuwa na miaka 10 he was working with his daddy in the field alikuwa shambani na baba yake and he took ill ndipo akaugua and he died ndipo akafa and the mother was destroyed na mama alikuwa amevurugwa kweli kweli the father's heart was torn into many pieces ma moyo wa baba ulipasuka vipande vipande he thought this is going to be his heir akajua huyu alijua huyu ndiye mrithi wake he's going to give him the banana plantation angempa shamba lake la magomba amen amen but the boy is no long lakini mvulana hayupo tena then the woman thought ndipo mwanamke akawazia this guy this little boy of mine huyu mvulana wangu is here because of prayer. Yupo hapa kwa ajili ya kwa ajili ya maombi. She says. Sema, I will get up. Nitainuka. She called one of the servants. Akamuita mmoja wa watumishi. Listen. Akasema sikiliza. Settle up a donkey. Muandae punda. Take me to the prophet. Nipeleke kwa nabii wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She says, don't stop. Akasema usisimame njiani. I give you instructions. mimi nimekwambia usimame. Akasema wewe pige mwendo. And get me to the man of God. Unifikishe kwa yule mtu wa Mungu. And that's where we started with our scripture reading. Na hapo ndipo tulipoanzia kusoma neno. The prophet saw her coming. Nabii alimuona kwa mbali akija. He says, "Sema, that looks like the Shunammite woman." Yule mbona kama ni yule mama wa Kishunami? He says, "Yes it is." Sema ndiyo ni yeye. He says, "Gazi." Asema Gazi. Go and ask her. Hebu nenda muulize. How is it with your husband? Ye, mume wake ana hali gani? How is it with you? Na wewe una hali gani? How is it with your little boy? Je, mvulana ajambo? She never said. Oh, how come he man of god hey, jamani my baby is dead mvulana wangu amekufa he doesn't live no haishi tena husband is in jail mume wangu analia 
Huyo sio yule mama. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alisema mtu wa Mungu. Yote ni salama. Haleluya. All is well with me. Yote ni salama kwangu. All is well with my Yote husband. ni salama kwa mume wangu. All is well with my boy. Yote ni salama kwa kijana wangu. The boy was dead. Hapo kijana ameshakufa. But all is well. Lakini yote ni salama. Are we getting it? Tunalipata. Amen. Amen. Oh God have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Brother Benham says something. Ndugu Branham anasema kitu fulani. He says did you know? Anasema je ulijua? The problem of God yule mtu wa Mungu hakujua juu ya hali ya halisi iliyopo nyumbani. Anasema Mungu hafunui mara zote kila kitu kwa watumishi wake. Amen. In this case it wasn't revealed. Kwenye hali hii nabii hakufunuliwa. That's why he said ask. Ndio maana alimwambia Geazi amuulize. Amen. Amen. We have the background. Tumepata msingi mzuri. You get the picture. Mmepata taswira. Amen. Can we close our eyes and bow our heads and go home? Haya, basi tufumbe macho tuombe twende nyumbani. Rajo, I'm not going to get away that easily. Ah, siondoki kiraisi namna hiyo. Rabbi Adam says, God don't tell his prophets everything. Mungu hawaambii manabii wake kila kitu. He says God kept that secret away from Elisha. Anasema Mungu alimficha Elisha hiyo siri. That's why he asked, is it well with you? Ndio maana akamuuliza, hujambo, mumeo hajambo? Is it well with your child? Je, kijana wako hajambo? The woman was down broken hearted. Mwanamke alikuwa kwenye maumivu ya kushushwa moyo. The husband was not in a good space. Na mume hakuwa kwenye hali nzuri. The boy was not even alive. Sasa mvulana ndo kabisa alikuwa haishi. The situation at home was dark. Hali iliyokuwa nyumbani ni ya mauti. The situation was like yours now and then. Na hali iliyokuwa nayo ni kama ya kwetu. Things are bad at home. Kuna mtu amekufa kule nyumbani. You never have money to buy a loaf of bread. Labda unakosa hata hela ya kununua chakula. Things brother. Lakini ndugu hujambo. Ah oh, all is well. Yote salama. Hallelujah. Amen. That is our subject for today. Hilo ndilo la kujifunza leo. Amen. Amen. Maybe I need to read a quotation. Labda nahitaji nisome nukuu. Rabenam says. Bwana anasema. This is not the quote yet. Hii ni nukuu. He says I love that woman's expression. Napenda yule mwanamke anavyojieleza. No matter how bad it is at home. Angalia haijalishi nyumbani ni kubaya kiasi gani. All is well. Yote ni salama. Before she left. Kabla ya kuondoka. She can still remember. Bado anakumbuka. The husband was crying. Yule mume alikuwa akilia. Oh brother he was in bad shape. Ah alikuwa katika hali mbaya. They couldn't console him. They couldn't console him. Wasingeweza kumpa kumpa faraja ya kutosha. Alikuwa analia hazuiliki. But lakini how is your husband? Mume wa anaali gani? All is well. Hajambo. Amen. Rabenim says I love that woman says. Ndugu Bana anasema napenda eh, mtazamo wa huyu mama. I love what you say. Napenda alichosema. Amen. You're not afraid to sit next to me bro. So much kick now. Labda nitakupiga teke ndugu hapo kinyosha miguu tena. Amen. This is the point. Hapa ndio pa kuchukua eh, jambo la msingi. She never allowed negativity to take over her life. Yule mama hajawahi kuruhusu hali ya kushindwa itawale maisha yake. She hallelujah. Hallelujah. She maintained. Aliendelea kushikilia. Aliendelea kushikilia. She maintained. Aliendelea kungangania. A positive testimony. Akiwa na shuhuda wenye kushinda. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the title of my message. Na hiki ndio kichwa cha ujumbe wangu. Maintaining a positive testimony. Endelea kutoa ushuhuda wa kushinda. Regardless. Bila ya kujali. Amen. Amen. Let me read a quotation. Baba nikusomee nukuu nyingine. Quotation is taken from Nukuu imetolewa kwenye a message law. Ujumbe wa sheria. Now listen to that. I'm going to read it slow. Sikiliza na isoma kwa taratibu. Now. Sasa It's a strange thing. Ni jambo la kushangaza. That this is so much thought of people. Kwamba hili linawaziwa sana na watu wengi. They say. Wao wanasema. Well, I'm weak. Mm, mimi mdhaifu. 
My faith is not so much. Imani yangu ni ndogo. I'm not a good Christian. Unajua mimi sio mkristo mzuri. I'm useless. Unajua mimi sifanyagi chochote. I can't get married. Siwezi hata kuolewa. The brothers look this way. Wandugu wananikwepa wanaangalia huku na huku. Nobody is interested. Hakuna hata mtu anayenitazama. Listen to what Reverend. Sikiliza ambacho Nguvu Lanman anasema. Amen. Amen. He says that is just what the devil wants you to say. Hicho ndicho ibilisi anachotaka useme. Hallelujah. That is just what the devil wants. Hicho ndicho anataka wewe unasema. He says. Anasema. Listen to this. Sikiliza hili. He says you are just talking his language. Wewe unazungumza lugha ya shetani. Let's give the Lord away. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Amen. I'm such a poor excuse of a husband. Oh, I'm such a Ah, mimi sio mme mzuri. Mimi sio sio. This is the last time you're going to run yourself down. This is the last time that you're going to run yourself down. Hii ni mara ya mwisho kukusikika unaongea vitu vya kipuzipuzi. Brother Ben says. He says that's the devil's language. Hiyo ni lugha ya ibilisi. Hallelujah. Amen. You gonna tell yourself. Lazima ujiambie wewe mwenyewe. You gonna tell the devil. Lazima umwambie ibilisi. I am not speaking your language. Mimi sizungumzi lugha yako. I am a son of God. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. I am a daughter of God. Mimi ni binti wa Mungu. I am brother. Mimi ni baba. Nina. Nina. Mimi ni mshindi. Amen. Amen. Devil's language. Lugha ya ibilisi. Bwana anasema. The devil's language. Unazungumza lugha ya ibilisi. Whenever you come with this negative language. Popote utakapozungumza mambo ya kipuzipuzi hayo. Ndugu anasema wewe must never say usizungumze lugha ya ibilisi Hallelujah Hallelujah I I used to talk the devil's language Na mimi zamani niliwahi kuzungumza lugha ya ibilisi But I talk the devil Sasa hivi sizungumzi hiyo lugha tena I'll rather talk Swahili Ni bora nijifunze kuzungumza Kiswahili kuliko kuongea lugha ya ibilisi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see? Unaona? The devil can do nothing. Ibilisi hawezi kufanya chochote. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mauti na uzima vipo kwenye utawala wa midomo yetu. Brother? Ndugu? I don't care how bad things may go alone. Sijali mambo yamekuendea mrama kiasi gani. The devil wants you to Ibilisi anataka ukiri uendelee kukiri ili kwa mimi sifai Ndugu anasema usizungumze lugha ya ibilisi Amen Usijiweke kwenye hali ya kushindwa kila wakati I don't want to jump the gun here but I can remember what happened to brother Brenham Nataka siwezi kumbuka nini kilitokea kwa ndugu Brana anasema hata hapo alikuwa kabla hajawa Mkristo alikuwa na ugonjwa ambao ulikuwa ni hatari sana asingeweza kula chakula chochote kigumgumu alipokula chochote alitapika alikuwa katika hali mbaya and uh, barley water for a year na alikaa akinywa maji na chembechembe za kuongeza nguvu kwa mwaka mmoja the doctor told the doctor akamwambia the doctor told his mother akamwambia mama yake the moment he eat any solid food akijaribu kula chakula chochote kigumu it's going to kill him kitamua yeah. one day they were sitting around the siku moja alikuwa amekaa eh, kuzunguka meza brother ndugu the mother made some whole wheat bread na pale mama alikuwa ameoka mkate mzuri wa ngano lakini yeye haruhusiwi kugusa there was another bowl full of beans alafu ilikuwa kuna bakuli kubwa limejaa maharage he was supposed to touch it hakuruhusiwa kugusa he was to keep that stuff so far away from him hivyo vitu vilikuwa natakiwa kaenavyo mbali kabisa brother man said they never said a prayer at home hawajawahi kuomba nyumbani they were anglicans walikuwa ni waanglikana He looked to his father. Alimtazama babake. He says dead. Sema baba. Don't you want to offer prayer? Kwani uwezi kuomba tu? He says. Akasema. His father. Babake 
Alimwangalia hivi chini chini. And he started crying. Akaanza kulia. I've never said a prayer. Sijawahi kuomba maisha yangu yote. Not even a message believe there was no message there. Hata hakukuwa na mwaminio wa ujumbe pale. He was not a Christian. Wala hakuwa yeye mwenyewe mkristo. But listen to what he did. Lakini sikiliza kitu alichofanya. He says God. Akasema Mungu. Whole long year. Kwa mwaka wote mzima. I have listened to a doctor. Nimemsikiliza daktari. And I'm no better. Na wala siponi. I'm getting worse. Nazidi kudhoofika. But I am taking you today. To Lakini word. nakuchukua kwenye neno lako. Your word says. Neno lako linasema. I am the Lord God. Mimi ni Bwana Mungu wako. Ninayekuponya na magonjwa yako yote. Jesus God. Sema Mungu. I'm taking you at your word. Nakuchukua kwenye neno lako. Word said it. Wewe ndio uliyosema. I believe it. Na niliamini. And he started eating. Akaanza kula mkate mgumu. Akamega ripande kubwa. Akalibugia. Anapingana na taratibu za kidaktari. Kumbuka daktari alimwambia asiguse chakula kigumu. Yeye amemega maharage ya kutosha. Akaya meza yote. Hallelujah. But then the problem started. Unajua tatizo lilipoanza. As he swallowed it, unapoli meza, then it came out. Ulikatapika. And he says, "God, akisema ndugu, I just swallow it down again." Nikali kumeza tena. He says, "And it comes up again." Sema liripo jaribu kutoka. I swallow it. Nikali rudisha tena. No random says. Nana sema ndugu brano. Somebody was asking. Mtu fanya na likuana niuliza. Hi Bill. Hi Bill. Hey Billy. How are you? Unajisikiaje? He says I feel wonderful. Sema najisikia vizuri. Lakini anatapika. Chakula kinataka kutoka. Ana meza. I feel wonderful. Najisikia vizuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He never engaged. He never engaged in the devil's language. Kamwe hakujihusisha na lugha ya ibilisi. Brother Benham says. He says eventually when the Lord healed me. Amna baadaye Mungu alimponja. That one person came to him. Na mtu mmoja akamjia. He says remember but. Sema unakumbuka ndugu? When I ask you how you were feeling. Nilipokuuliza unajisikiaje? You said you feel you felt wonderful. Wewe ukasema unajisikia vizuri? You are you actually lying. Sema unajua kiuhalisia ulisema uongo. Because you were not. Kwa sababu ulikuwa hujisikii vizuri. He says ah. Akasema eh we 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 we. Ngoja. He says Akasema I felt bad in my body Nilikuwa nasikia vibaya kwenye mwili But in my spirit Lakini kwenye roho yangu nilikuwa najisikia vizuri Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen Amen Praise is wonderful name Nibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu Hallelujah Hallelujah Now let's read the rest of the quote Tusome sehemu nyingine ya inuku Amen. Amen. Brother Benham says and this is advice to you. Ndugu anasema na huu ni ushauri kwenu. He says, anasema, don't never let your testimony be negative. Kamwe usijaribu kuweka ushuhuda wako ukawa ni wa kushindwa. Kamwe usiruhusu ushuhuda wako uwe wa kushindwa. You need to say it the third time. It sounds so nice in the Israeli. Let the brother tell you again what Brother Benham says here. Kamwe usiruhusu ushuhuda wako ukawa wa kushindwa. I like that wa at the end. Amen. Napenda hiyo ndwa. Don't Don't ever let your testimony be negative. Usiruhusu ushuhuda wako wa kushindwa. Always let it be positive. Kila wakati uwe ni ushuhuda wa kushinda. Come on, my woman. Mule mwanamke mshunami. Alisema yote ni salama. Ndugu Adam unajisikiaje? Mbona unaendelea kutapika? Akasema kichwa kikiwa kinampa mawenge anayumba. Alikuwa kwenye hali mbaya. Lakini yote ni salama. Najisikia vizuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu abarikiwe. His confession was a positive. Na ukiri wake ulikuwa ni wa kushinda. His declaration was positive. Alichokuwa anatangaza ni ushindi. Brother Benham says you should say. Ndugu Brana anasema unapaswa kusema I am saved. 
Mimi nimeokolewa. Nina Mungu moyoni mwangu. Oh brother. Oh ndugu. Unasema mimi ni mwaminio mwenye ushindi. Brother. Ndugu. I tremble on the devil. Namkanyaga shetani. Amen. Hallelujah. I am a winner. Mimi ndiye mshindi. I am an overcomer. Mimi ndiye niliyeshinda. Brother. Ndugu. The devil is a liar. Ibilisi ni mwongo. Be positive. Uwe mtu wa kushinda. Let your testimony always be positive. Kila wakati shuhudia mambo ya ushindi. There's no prayer at home. There's no bread at home. Hakuna ugali nyumbani. But all is well. Lakini sema yote ni salama. God is a provider. Amen. God will take care. Mungu ndiye atakayejali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't engage in the devil's language. Mungu ataendelea kushinda kile unachokisema. Amen. He says you must say. Unasema unasema? He says you yeah. See I have God in my heart. Anasema useme nina Mungu moyoni mwangu. Mimi ni mwana na binti wa Mungu. Some of us act as if we are the, uh, the sons and daughters of some slave. Wengine hapa wanaenenda wana, kama watoto wa watumwa. Ambao shetani amewatelekeza mahali fulani polini huko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do you think Brother Benham shared a little story? Kwa nini unafikiri ndugu Brana malitupa habari ya about the slaves in America? Wale watumwa wanaoishi Marekani. People were sold for for money. Watu waliuzwa ili wapate pesa. I won't go over this brother. Namtaka huyu ndugu. He is a bit weak. Yeah. Yeah. You see he's a bit weak. He's Unaona ni ndugu ambaye hana nguvu nyingi. He's not going to make a good slave. Huyu hawezi kufaa kuwa mtumbo. Thank you brother. I don't want. Asante ndugu. Sikutaki wewe. I want this. Namtaka huyu. This one looks like a Huyu anaonekana mtumwa mzuri. He will be able to work. Anaweza kufanya kazi. But here they came and they saw a slave. Lakini alikuja mtumwa mmoja. Ndugu? Ukimpa tololi anakimbia nalo. Ukimpa spedi anarusha, anarusha, anarusha. Ndugu chochote unachompa. This man was working. Huyu mtu alikuwa anapiga kazi kweli kweli. So the guy says I want that. Akasema namtaka huyu. Asema ah huyu sio wa kuuzwa. Amen. Amen. Why is he not for sale? Kwa nini haumuuzi huyu? And this one is for sale. Mbona huyu unamuuza? He says Akasema huyu this one looks as if he can do a nice job. Kana onekana anafanya kazi vizuri. But he's not for sale. Lakini simuuzi ngo. He says tell me why not? Sema kwa nini umuuzi? He says I didn't know. Akasema mimi sijui. Sema mimi sijui. He says tell me why not? Sema kwa nini umuuzi? He says I didn't know. Sema mimi sijui. But one day I sat down with him. Lakini siku moja nilikaa naye chini. And I spoke to him. Nikazungumza naye. And he told me. Akaniambia. Over in Tanzania. Kule Tanzania alikotoka. In Moshi. Moshi. You see this slave. Unaona? His father is a king of a tribe. Huyu huyu mtumwa baba yake ni mfalme kule. That makes him a prince. Ndio kinamfanya kuwa mwana mfalme. You don't have to beat him. Hutupaswi kumchapa mijeredi. You grab that wheelbarrow. Anashika hilo toloi. And you will run over it. Anakimbia nalo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. No negativity. Hana hali ya kushindwa. Can affect him. Yeye kila saa ameshinda. No negativity. Hana hali ya kushindwa. Can derail him. Ambaye inaweza kumchelewesha. Yeye ni mwana wa mfalme. What about you? Vipi juu yako wewe? You are sons and daughters of God. Ninyi ni wana na binti za Mungu. Let nothing in this world. Hali yoyote isiwayumbishe. Affect you. Isilete madhara kwenu. Always be positive. Kila wakati uwe kwenye hali ya kushinda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord away. Tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. says the last part of the quote. Ndugana manasema sehemu ya mwisho ya hii nuku. I believe him. Ninamwamini yeye. Kwa moyo wangu wote. Can you say the same? Wewe unaweza kurudia kusema tuseme ndugu Branham? Oh, some of us just want to serve the Lord when everything is going well. Kuna watu wanapenda kumtumikia Mungu wakati mambo yao yamenyoka. The cars are full. Na makapu yamejaa vitu nyumbani. There's money in the MM NMB kule kumejaa pesa. There's enough money in there. Pesa ya kutosha. Hapo utamwona naabudu. Ah, Mungu akiviondoa. I don't want to be a Christian. Ah, sitaki kuwa Mkristo. No, I don't want to be a Christian. Sitaki kuwa Mkristo. There's no money. Sina pesa mbona? There's no food. Sina chakula. But I must say praise the Lord. Nasemaje Bwana asifiwe? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He says I believe him with all my heart. 
Sema naamini kwa moyo wangu wote. Do you believe in divine healing? Je, unaamini katika uponyaji wa kiungu? Just what you're saying he says your response is with all my heart. Anasema yeye anajibu hiyo mlivyoitikia maana yake ni kwa moyo wangu wote. Rabbenum says. Ndio bwana anasema if i pray for 30 people tonight. Kama usikuu nitaombea watu 30 and they are all dead in the morning. Alafu asubuhi yake wote wafe. Usiku nao fuata. Nitaita mstari tena wa maombi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We take God at his word. Tunamchukua Mungu kwenye neno lake. We are not influenced by negative stuff. Hatuwezi kuyumbishwa na vitu vya kushindwa. Now here's the last part of the quote. Na ini sehemu ya mwisho hii nuku. Bwana anasema, "Ebu ushuhuda wako, let your testimony always and your thoughts everything." Kila wakati ushuhuda wako, mawazo yako, kila kitu. He says, "Never permit a negative thought to come into your mind." Kama usiruhusu wazo la kushindwa liingie kwenye fahamu zako. If you can help it. Amen. If you can help it. Kama unaweza kujisaidia Never let the negative. Usiruhusu wazo la kushindwa come into your mind. Liingie ufahamu wako if you can help it. Kama unaweza ukafanya hivyo. The devil is the king of negativity. Unajua mfalme wa kushindwa ni ibilisi. He is the supplier of all negativity. Yeye ndiye analeta mambo ya kushindwa. Amen. Amen. Praise is wonderful. Barikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Now yes, I'll read the quote ends. Na hapa ni nukui inapoishia. He says wakati wazo la kushindwa likiujao ufahamu wako anasema kamwe don't kamwe entertain usilelele haleluya haleluya negative thoughts will come mawazo mabovu yatakuja lakini usiape hali nzuri ya kukaa amen amen so you got my little thought for today je mmepata wazo langu dogo la leo so you Kumbuka si kile unachosema kuhusu ujumbe. Ni kile unachofanya juu ya ujumbe. Amen. Don't take any negativity into consideration. Hali yote ya kushindwa usiile. Refuse to entertain it. Kataa kuilea. Refuse to keep it alive. Kataa kuifanya iwe hai. You should leave no room for negativity. Usiache mwanya wowote wa hali ya kushindwa. But I told you brother, I'm not able. Ha, nafanyaje ndugu? Mimi siwezi. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh-huh. I told you I'm not able. Mimi sina uwezo. Even if you are not able. Hata kama hauna uwezo. You must let the devil know. Lazima umfanye ibilisi ajue kwamba mimi. Hey, Mina. Amina. Mina. It's me. Yeah, me, me, me. me, me. Mina, I'm sorry if you guess me. Ah, afika kusini ukisema Mina, unamaanisha mimi. You say I'm useless? Unasema mimi sifai kitu. Kwamba sina uwezo. But let me tell you. Lakini nikwambie. I am more than able. Mimi nina zaidi ya kuweza. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you not going to make my trick. You not going to make a uh, 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 form whatever the last form. Uh, from a tick certificate wewe au uh, kwamba wewe utaweza kufaulu mpaka eh, shahada ya kwanza listen na wewe unamsikiliza i am going to get my matric na lazima nipate shahada yangu i have got form i have got form 2 at the moment mbona hata hivi form 2 nimepita but watch this space lakini hapa angalia in a few years kwa miaka michache i will obtain my nitapata shahada yangu There's a, a, a brother in uh, a testimony of a brother in uh, Zimbabwe. Kuna ushuhuda wa ndugu kule Zimbabwe. Brother he didn't see high school properly. Ndugu hakufanya vizuri kwenye elimu yake ya juu. And uh, at work they had a position for a qualified electrical engineer. Na kwa kulikuwa kuna nafasi ya kazi ya mfundi mwandishi wa umeme aliyefaulu vizuri. He was just doing these odd little jobs. Alikuwa anafanya kazi za kawaida kawaida. He said God. Akasema Mungu, I may not have the qualification. Naweza nikawa sina marks nzuri. But I'm asking you. Lakini nakuomba to give me that job. Unipe hii kazi. And he started 
confessing. Akaanza kukiri. He was going around. Alikuwa anapita. He was saying brother Adam. Alikuwa anasema ndugu Adam. You know what? Unajua nini? I'm going to get a job. Nitapata ile kazi ya mwandishi. Top job. Ile ni kazi ya juu sana. That's going to give it to me. Mungu amenipa. Guess what? Unajua nini? Nobody could believe it. Hamna angeweza kumwamini. You received the letter. Lakini baadaye You have been appointed. Akapokea barua ya 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 mwajili. You have been appointed as electrical engineer of our campus. Umechaguliwa kuwa mwandishi wa umeme wa campus. Hallelujah. You don't entertain any negativity. Usilee hali yoyote ya kushindwa. Some people Baadhi ya watu Some people may have told him. Baadhi ya watu labda labda walimwambia. Bro just bring me your certificate. Hebu ndugu tuone hivyo vyeti vyako. Kipi? Head grade four. Kile kile cha form 4 kile. I'm not interested in anything. I'm not interested in. Mimi hata sitaki kuangalia vieti. God, Mungu will give me that. Atanipa ile kazi. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother. Ndugu. Brother Benham says. Ndugu mwana sema. Faith doesn't know reverse gear. Imani haina gia ya kurudi nyuma. Faith only moves forward. Imani inasonga mbele tu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You start declaring. Yenye inaendelea tu. You start saying it. Unaanza kusema. You start believing. Unaanza kuamini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God will give it to you. Mungu ndipo atakapokupatia. Are you seed of Abraham? Are you seed of Abraham? Wewe wewe ni uzao wa Ibrahim? Are you the seed of Abraham? Je wewe ni uzao wa Ibrahim? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says Biblia inasema Baba Ibrahim God made him a promise. Mungu alimpa ahadi. 10 years later. Miaka 10 iliyofuata. Did Father Abraham do what we are doing? Je, Baba yetu Ibrahim alifanya tunachofanya? God has I tried everything. Mchungaji, yani nimejaribu kila namna. Lakini mbona hatupati mtoto? No baby. Hatuna mtoto. Ah ah ah. He never entertained any Usilee mawazo ya kushindwa. When he went to that baby shop, alipoenda kwenye duka la wanauza vitu vya watoto, the lady behind the counter, yule binti aliyekuwa anauza, was saying, alikuwa anasema, Father Ibrahim, I don't want to talk in front of the people, let's ah, go in a corner. Mzee Ibrahim, hebu njoo tujituongee huko kidogo. Sitaki kuongea mbele ya watu. You know Father Ibrahim. Unajua babu? You know me. Wewe ni mzee. Forget about this baby idea. Hii mambo ya mtoto hebu sahau. Your wife is also. Ha lakini mke wako pia ni mzee. She will never fall for pregnant. Yaani hawezi kuja kupata mimba. He says thank you for your. Anamwambia asante kwa ushauri. Lakini Mungu asifiwe. Mtoto wangu anakuja. Anasema haleluya. Hebu andaa nguo hizo. says praise God. Bible says says Abraham believed this way. He says she is 60 years now. And if the baby don't come tomorrow today, and the baby come 10 years later. Bigger miracle. Ni mujiza mkubwa. Hallelujah. Amen. He never he never got this heart. Go read what the Bible says. The Bible says Abraham Abraham was strong in faith. Giving God the praise. For a baby that only came 25 years later. Hallelujah. No negativity, brother. No negativity system. He held on to the word. And he was declaring. Naye alikuwa akitangaza kila siku. Positive. Ushuhuda wa kushinda. No menstruation period sir. No menstruation. Ah, vipi sara hujaona siku zako? Still nothing. Hamna kitu mzee. Sema lakini jina la Bwana lisifiwe. The baby is still coming. Mtoto anakuja hata hivyo. Leave no room for any negative. Usiruhusu hali yoyote ya hali ya kushindwa. I'm going to I'm going to read a quote to you. Ndakusomeeni nukuu moja. And that will show you Itakuonyesheni kwamba how many people fail because of this simple thing. Kwa nini watu wanashindwa kwa ajili ya kitu hicho hicho kiraisi? 
It reminds me of the story of the blind man. Inanikumbusha habari ya yule mtu aliyekuwa kipofu. In the ministry of Brother Branham. Kwenye huduma ya ndugu Branham. I think it's Brother Ryan, John Ryan or whatever his name. Kile ndugu John Ryan au kitu kama hicho. He came in the prayer line. Alikuja kwenye mstari wa maombi. Somebody holding on to him. Kuna mtu anamuongoza. With a little white stick. Akiwa na kafimbo keupe kadogo. He felt akaisi hisi hapa pana mtu alikuwa ni ndugu Branham ndugu Branham akamwombea says god give this man back his eyesight mungu naomba mrudishie kuona huyu mtu and then brother Branham says ndugu Branham akasema that said the lord hivi asema bwana you will receive your sight utaona siku moja he went out this way akatoka huko came back this way akarudi tena mlango wa nyuma amerudi kwenye mstari ndugu Branham says are you back again chama wewe mbona umerudi What did I tell you? Nilikwambia nini? He says, but I cannot. Sikini sioni bado. I'm so blind. Bado sioni. Give me a little bit more of it, please. Hebu niombe maombi zaidi zaidi. Then him says, all you need to do lesson. Sikiliza ndugu Branham akamwambia unachohitaji kufanya. Unachohitaji kufanya. Go out. Ni kutoka nje. Na ukiri. Say it. Useme. Say it again. Useme tena. Praise God. Vanessa sifiwe. Praise God. I can see. See when and then he went around. Akaenda nyumbani. Still blind. Bado ni kipofu. Praise God. I can see. Praise God. Wanaweza sifii wewe ninaona. He couldn't see a thing. Haoni kitu chochote. Amen. 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 You know what he did? Unajua alifanya nini? Alikuwa anawaambia watu. Anasema ka kimya. Tulieni. Praise God. Wanaweza sifii wewe ninaona. I just want to confess. Nataka tukukiri. Praise God. Wanaweza sifiwe ninaona. It went on and on. Aliendelea na kuendelea na kuendelea. One day he went into a barber shop. Siku moja akaenda kunyoa nywele. In a barber shop. Alipokuwa ananyoa nywele. The barber is busy with his hair. Yule kinyozi anamnyoa. He's shaving his head. Ananyoa nywele yake. He wanted to laugh his head. Alitaka kucheka. And you the guy that that he can see. Sina yule anayedaidi anaona amekuja. Of the hair is gone here. Baada ya nywele kutoka hapa upande mmoja. Ndugu yule aliluka kwenye kiti. Ana ushuhuda wa kushinda wakati wote. A positive testimony. Aliendelea kushuhudia kushinda. Aliluka kwenye kiti cha kunyolewa. Na nywele yake imenyolewa upande. Bwana Yesu asifiwe ninaona. Amen. Aliendelea kushuhudia kushinda. That is exactly what we need to do. Hicho ndicho tunachohitaji kufanya. Maintain a positive. Endelea kushuhudia kushinda. Nabii anasema kamwe. He said you should never some people are so fluent in the devil's language. Unajua kuna watu wanazungumza lugha ya ibilisi mpaka wanachosha. Amen. But you You should be positive. Wewe unapaswa kuwa na lugha ya ushindi. The Bible doesn't say you are a conqueror. Biblia isemi tu wewe ni mshindi. The Bible says you are more than. Inasema wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi. Amen. 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 Oh God help us. Mungu natusaidie. I want you to leave this building today. Nataka mtoke kwenye hili jengo leo. I don't even care what the devil is going to do. Hata sijali ibilisi atenda kufanya nini. I know he's not going to leave you. Najua hata waacha kiraisi. But walk around with your chest. Lakini tembeeni kwa majivuno kabisa. I am victorious. Mimi ni mshindi. Amen. Amen. Do you know why this is so important? Do you know why this is so important? Kwa nini unajua hili ni la muhimu sana? Maintain a positive test. Kuendelea kushuhudia ushindi wako. Are you ready for this? Uko tayari kushuhudia? Listen to this. Sikiliza hili. There's a cold break. Kuna nuku yake pia. Labda naweza nisome lakini niwaambie. Ndugu Danim anasema, God will let Mungu ataruhusu your body say for argument sake you've got arthritis you've got arthritis or diabetes what labda una matatizo ya kisukari una matatizo ya kupumua chochote kinachokusumbua 
Kuna nuku naweza nikakuonyesha. Ndugu Abraham anasema, you say to yourself every day. Wewe kila siku uambie mwili wako. Thank God for my healing. Nashukuru Mungu kwa kuniponya. Nashukuru Mungu ameniponya. Sema kila siku. I'm healed. Nimeponywa. I'm healed. Nimeponywa. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Anasema unajua nini? You know what's God what's going to happen? Unajua nini kitatukia? God. Mungu will. Ata then are the righteous. Atatoa hiyo hali ya kupumua. Obey your God. Ataifanya itii mnachokikiri. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The man was saying, "Yule mtu alikuwa anasema, thank God for my sight." Namshukuru Mungu amenipa kuona. Brother. Ndugu. His body obeyed his. Mwili wake ulitii ungamo lake. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you are facing at home. Chochote kinachokukabili pale nyumbani. Speak. Wewe nena neno. Say it. Ukiseme. Yeah. I wanted to speak on something else today. Nilitaka nizungumze kitu kingine tena leo. Something just came up now. Kuna kitu kimenijia tena sasa hivi. I wanted to speak on the word is doing it. Nilitaka kufanya kusema ambapo neno linavyosema. The word is doing it. Neno ndio linatenda. The earth was without form and void and darkness was a Kumbuka ulimwengu ulikuwa hauna umbo, hauna hali yoyote ya kuvutia, ulikuwa kama upendezi hivi. And God said, Ndipo Mungu akanena, let there be light. Na iwepo nuru. And chaos was transformed into a garden. Ule mchafuko ukabadilika kuwa bustani ya Eden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let it go that way. Unataka niendelee huko? Let's go another day. Hebu tu hiyo ni kwa ajili ya siku nyingine. Let's take a look at David. Tumwangalie Daudi. Brother, ndugu. David was sent to take lunch to his brothers who were in the afternoon. Daudi alitumwa apeleke chakula kwa ndugu zake ambao walikuwa kwenye vita. Amen. Amen. And when he came there, alipofika pale, how God can make things work? Mungu anavyotenda namna ya maajabu. Mungu anavyoyakusanyisha na kuonyesha vitu. Wakati Daudi yuko njiani kwenda kwa kaka zake kuwapelekea chakula. Hapo alikuepo Goliath. Bring me a man. Ileteni mtu wenu. Ambaye naweza nikampiga. Wote walikuwa wanatetemeka. Migo, magote alikuwa anagongana. David said what's going on here? Sema, Daudi alisema nini kinaendelea? Hey, walikuwa wanatetemeka. David said what? David said nini? Kaka zake wakasema wewe umeanza jeuri yako. Kila wakati unapenda mizaa mizaa. Akasema hapana. Na wazaje kumruhusu huyu asiyetailiwa. How can you let it on? Kwa nini mmemwacha huyu ambaye hajatailiwa? Analitukana jeshi la Mungu aliye hai. You are God's army. Hebu niambieni. You allow this uncircumcised enemy. Huyu mnamruhusu ambaye hajatailiwa waseme vibaya. Defy you. Anawatukana. He says I'll go and fight him. Sema mimi nitapambana naye. Any negativity? Hakuna hali ya kushindwa. David maintained a positive. Daudi kila wakati alishuhudia ushindi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he stood in front of the uh, Goliath. Aliposimama mbele ya Goliath. Goliath says I'll feed you. Goliath akisema, I'll take my spear. And pick when you up, pick you up. Nitakunyanyua kwa mshale. The fowls of the air. Nitawalisha ndege mwili wako. David says listen to me. Daudi akasema sikiliza wewe. That big head of yours. Na hilo bicho kubwa ulonalo. Will not remain on your body. Halitabaki kwenye mwili wako. I will take that big head off. Nitalingoa hilo bicho kubwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The size of Goliath. Na yale maishara na vitisho vya Goliath. David's mind. Hakukumbadilisha hali ya Daudi. Have you thought about it? Umekuwazia jambo hilo? David stands there with a slingshot and five stones. Daudi alikuwa tu na kombeo na mawe yake matano sijui. But he was already prophesying. Lakini tayari alikuwa anatoa unabii kwamba the stone will hit him here. Jiwe litapiga hapa utosi. Ataanguka. Na nitakata kichwa chako kwa upanga wako. Hallelujah. We must maintain a positive attitude regardless. Lazima kila wakati tushuhudie kushinda hata katika hali ngumu. 
Some couple had uh, marital problems. Labda tu mda mwingine ni matatizo madogo. Things were bad. Mambo ni mabaya. Divorce was imminent. Na talaka ilikuwa iko usoni pao. The whole thing was falling apart. Jambo lote lilikuwa la ndoa linaharibika. But then the sister went. Lakini udada kaenda. She said to the pastor. Akamwambia mchungaji God brought me together with this man in this marriage. Ni Mungu aliyeniunganisha na huyu ndugu kwenye ndoa. God will make sure that we stay together. Mungu atahakikisha tunaendelea kukaa pamoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She was nega, never negative. Huyu dada hajawahi kuwaza kushindwa. She remained positive regardless. Aliendelea kukiri ushindi bila kujali. And there is what we ought to be. Na hicho ndicho tunachopaswa kuwa. I'm not saying brother sister amen. Now all of a sudden I'm not a uh, ecumenical preacher bro. I'm, I'm just letting you know it's word. Simaanishi kwamba ndugu ndo tuanze kujivuna na hivi na hivi mara tu nimekuwa muhubiri wa kiulimwengu. Simaanishi hivyo. Hold on to the word. Shikilia neno. Stay positive. Kaa na ushuhuda wa kushinda. Amen. Amen. Naweza nikaishia hapa ndugu yangu. Nilifikiri nimeongea vya kutosha. Ndugu Felix, naweza nikafunga eh? Say no yet. Amen. Ha, mimi sifai kitu. Lugha ya ibilisi. Mimi ni maskini siwezi kutunza familia yangu. Lugha ya shetani. Mimi ni mdhaifu. Lugha ya shetani. Sasa hapa lipo lilo zuri zaidi. Ndugu mimi sistahili kitu. Mimi sistahili chochote. Lugha ya ibilisi. Amen. Amen. Mimi sina uwezo. Lugha ya ibilisi. Amen. Mimi ni wa kushindwa. Lugha ya ya ibilisi. Sitafanikisha. Lugha ya ibilisi. Ndugu bwana mwanasema. Kama usiruhusu shuhuda wako ni wa kushindwa. Kila wakati uwe na ushuhuda wenye ushindi. Hata hivyo. Mdhaifu na akili ana nguvu. Unaweza kuwa ni mdhaifu lakini shuhudia wewe ni mwenye nguvu. Ndugu. I forgot. Yeah. Amen. Brother sister, one of the worst things that we see around us today. Ndugu mmoja mambo mabaya tunayoyaona kati yetu. People that supposed to shout victory. Watu ambao walipaswa washangilia ushindi. Are behaving like a defeatist. Wanaishi kama walioshindwa. Let the defeated say I'm an overcomer. Aliyeshindwa na aseme mimi ni mshindi. Let the poor say I'm rich. Aliye maskini akili yeye ni tajiri. Let the sick say I'm well. Aliye mgonjwa akili amepona. Let the down trodden said I am victorious. Aliye shushwa moyo aseme mimi ni shujaa. Let the loser say I'm a winner. Aliyeshindwa aseme mimi ndiye niliyeshinda. The prophet of God Nabii wa Mungu Nabii wa Mungu said we should avoid Anasema tuepukane tukae mbali from the devil's language Na lugha ya kiibilisi Always Kila wakati positive Uwe na lugha ya ushindi We need to discard Tuna the habit, uh, the habit of using the devil's language Lazima tufanyie mazoezi kuachana na lugha ya ibilisi The sooner you learn Unapojifunza to unlearn kwa yule ambaye hajajifunza the devil's language lugha ya ibilisi the sooner you'll be on your way to victory hapo hapo ndipo utaanza njia yako ya ushindi what about a, a wave to the law hebu mpungieni bwana mkono the apostle paul went through many things mtume paulo alipitia mambo mengi sana amen amina but listen to what he said lakini sikiliza anachosema isn't this positive je je hili si la ushindi He says I can do all. Anasema ninayaweza mambo yote. Kwa Kristo yeye anitiaye nguvu. I can do all things. Nayaweza mambo yote. Through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Kwa Kristo anitiaye nguvu. You can do all things. Unayaweza mambo yote. Through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Kwa Kristo akutiaye nguvu. Amen. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. Whenever something negative comes up, chochote cha kushindwa kikija always confess the opposite wewe kiri kinyume chake amen amen praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe amen. amen confess that you are strong wewe endelea kukiri kwamba ni mtu mwenye nguvu even if weakness hata kama kuna udhaifu is obvious and evident una una ushahidi wa udhaifu amen amen Amen. 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 Brother Benham says. Sometimes we don't realize how strong we really are. Sometimes mda fulani hatutambui kiasi gani tuna nguvu. I'm going to close now. Natakaribia kufunga sasa. Brother Benham says. Ndugu Benham anasema. Have you ever been in town? Hivi mwahi kuingia kwenye mji? He says and there stands a little traffic cop. Alafu kamuona askari wa barabarani. The cap is so deep you can't even see his eyes. Kofia yake ameishusha mpaka imefunika macho. Brother he weighs. He looks like some somebody that has been uh, malfed. Anaonekana ni mtu fulani ambaye hata hajala vizuri hivi. Amen. Amina. You can push him off. Unaweza hata ukamsukuma kwa kidole. One of the smallest sister can. Dada mmoja tu mdogo anaweza kumsukuma yule polisi akaanguka. Brother. Ndugu. But when that guy step up, steps out. Lakini yule mtu akisimama pale baskeli zinaweza zikamponyoka lakini yeye mngoja kwanza atoke aweke mkono hivi they, they alafu wanakuaga kama kweli wako makini sana linakuja lori kubwa sana linajaribu kusimama linajitahidi lisimamee kwa nini break za ghafla kwa nini lazima asimame Ameamriwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Adam says. Ndugu Adam anasema, he doesn't have any power. Hana nguvu zozote. But he has authority. Lakini anayo mamlaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The truck must stop. Na lile roli lazima lisimame. Dada, you are only a, a housewife. Wewe ni mke tu, mama wa nyumbani. You may not have power. Labda hauna nguvu, but the authority of the Lord Jesus. Lakini una mamlaka yote ya Bwana Yesu Kristo. You pray for your little child. Kama utamwombea mtoto wako mdogo, ukamwambia ibilisi, in the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, take off your head. Toka. Oh my child. Mtoto ule atapona. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Amen. I just want to say a, a couple of things so Nataka niseme tu mambo machache. And uh, I need to close at this point. Nahitaji kumaliza sasa. Okay. I, I can use this one example. Natumia mfano mmoja. And then I can close. Nafikisha nitaweza kufunga. Biblia inasema 12 spies were selected. Walichaguliwa wazee wapelelezi 12. To go over into the promised land. Waende ngambo nchi ya hadi for 40 days. Wakae siku 40. And spy out the land. Waipeleleze ile nchi. Then when they got there. Walipofika pale. Umeliona hilo? Look where is Edis? Lile jitu angalia kichwa chake kiliko. Have you seen? Umeliona? Sema. Check his hands. Angalia kiganja kile. Kiganja kiko hivi. One smack and you dead. Hivi akikupiga kofi unapona kweli? Brother, two other brothers came there. Wakaja wandugu wengine wawili. They took a cluster of grapes. Walikuwa wamebeba kichanja cha zabibu. Ndugu, grapes they are so big. Mizabibu mikubwa. Two guys have to carry. Wanaume wawili ndio wanaweza kubeba kichanja kimoja. Wasn't that proof that the land is good? Je, haukuwa huo ni ushahidi kwamba ile nchi ilikuwa ni njema? Ha. Ha. But wait until they got home. Lakini angalia waliporudi nyumbani. Joshua and Caleb. Joshua na Caleb. They were walikuwa wa moto the, the two guys. watu wenye ushuhuda wa ushindi the ten, the majority, wale wengine kumi ambao ndio wengi when, uh, 
Joshua na walipofika kule Moses Musa this is it angalia vilivyo They were looking at him the tent Akiangalia wale 10 What are you talking about Wewe unaongea nini wewe Jesus I was standing next to Rebecca under the palm tree Unasio mimi ndo nilisimama lile kwenye lile refu pembeni yake pale Ah lile unakumbuka niliangalia mpaka nikainama hivi Akasema sikilizeni We will never make it We will never make it. Kama ka, kama tutakuwa na ufahamu wa ibilisi hatutafanikiwa. It is a good land. Ni nchi nzuri. But we will not make it. Lakini hatuwezi. We have lost the battle before we even start. Yaani vita tumeshashindwa kabla hatujaianza. I like I like Joshua and Caleb. Nampenda sana Joshua na Caleb. Looking at the ten. Wakaangalia wale 10. He says, "Shut up." Akasema hebu kaa kimya. Keep quiet. Kaa kimya. Joshua. 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 Let's go up. Let's go. Let, let's twende, go up and watch. And take the land. Na tuchukue nchi. They were positive. Walikuwa na ushindi. They never made room for any negativity. Hawakukaa na ushuhuda wa kushindwa. Walikuwa nchi ni ya kwetu. Let us go and possess it. Hebu twende tukaitamalaki. It is our land. Ni nchi yetu. The Lord gave it. Bwana ndiye aliyetupa hata hivyo. Here we are. Hallelujah. Let's take it. Hebu tuitwae. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The land is yours. Nchi ni ya kwako. Don't listen. Usisikilize wale wengine kumi. The land the Lord has given you. Ile ardhi ile nchi Bwana amekupatia wewe. Can you stand? Unaweza kusimama? Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Labda tufunge kwanza alafu nitaongea tena kidogo. Precious and eternal heavenly Father. Baba yetu mwenye neema na wa milele. We are so grateful. Tu watu washukurani sana. For the opportunity to be found in your divine presence. Kwa fursa hii ya kupatikanika katika uwepo wako wa kiungu. Lord we could have spoken on some deep mysterious thing. Bwana labda tungeweza kuzungumza mambo ya kilindi ya siri kubwa sana. But these are the things we need when Lakini, we are faced. Haya ni mambo ambayo tunahitaji tunapopambana. Without challenges at home. Tunapopewa changamoto kule majumbani mwetu. Father will you take this word? Bwana utalichukua hili neno and, and, and grave it on the tables of the hearts of your children. Na ulizamishe kwenye mioyo ya watoto wako. Tomorrow when the devil attacks. Kesho ibilisi akiwavamia. May they be able to take that out. Wao wana uwezo wa kumtoa. And Lord may help them through their challenges. Bwana uwapitishe washinde hizo changamoto. We want to say thank you for the wonderful time Lord. Tunahitaji kusema asante kwa ajili ya wakati mzuri sana that we have spent with your children. Ambao tumeutumia pamoja na watoto wako. Lord help us we are not here to entertain. Tusaidie Bwana tusiweze kulea lea. We are here to let the people know the lateness of the hour. Tuko hapa kuwafanya watu waujue ujumbe wa wakati huu. We are here to let them know they can overcome the devil. Tupo hapa kuwaambia wana uwezo wa kumshinda shetani. Father we pray will you go with us? Baba tunaomba je utaenda pamoja nasi? Lord give me a safe journey back home. Bwana unijalie safari ya salama ninaporudi nyumbani. Will you be with your children? Je utaenda na watoto wako Mungu? Thank you Lord for the wonderful brothers I've met and friends we've made. Na asante kwa ajili ya wandugu wazuri na marafiki ambao tumekutana. Lord be with them. Bwana ukaende pamoja nao. Grant them grace. Wajalie neema. Let them press the battle. Hebu na wasonge mbele kwenye vita. It won't be long. Haitakuwa muda mrefu. Soon we'll be going home. Muda mfupi tutarudi usote nyumbani. We ask your grace Lord. Tunaomba Bwana. Go with us now. Uende nasi sasa. Those that still need to travel. Those that still need to travel. Wale ambao bwana wametegwa katika mitego. Will you give them traveling mercy? Tunaomba Mungu uwape eh, rehema za kutoka. Reunite them with their loved ones. Uwe na wale wapenzi wao bwana. Lord we pray for the expenses that have been incurred. Angalia bwana tunaomba hata kwa gharama ambazo zimechukua zime, imebidi zigaramiwe mkutano huu. Will you give them back? Naomba uwarudishie gharama hizo. Father we pray God will you further go with us. Tunaomba zaidi Bwana uendelee kuishi nasi. If there's another opportunity to be together again. Ili kwamba kama kuna fursa ya kukutana tena. 
Father, will you bring us together again? Tunaomba Bwana utulete pamoja tena. We ask this humbly in Jesus. Tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu kabisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Naweza kukaa mtakatifu. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I must say na lazima niseme I'm not as young as I used to be. Si kijana tena kama ambavyo nilikuwa zamani. Soon I'll be 70 years old. Muda si mrefu nitatimiza miaka yangu 70. But I pray may God help me. Lakini ninamwomba Mungu anisaidie. I'll be a, sh- a shoulder a, sh- a soldier. Niendelee kuwa askari. That wants to die. That wants to die with my boots on. Nataka nife nikiwa nimevaa sare ya vita. Somebody was saying one day. Mmoja alikuwa ananiambia siku moja. Says what if you die behind the pulpit? Hivi inakweje kweje mtu akifia madhabauni. That's the best thing that could happen to me. Nafikiri hicho ndo mahali pazuri pa kufia hapa. Then you can say that brother died in the service of the Lord. Sasa unaweza kusema yule ndugu aliyefia kwenye ibada ya Bwana. 